guys, this is Lala Legacy, and welcome back to another episode of Little Busters. I have again here my roommate. Hello. Yeah. So, let's jump right back in. <laughs> <laughs> she said while taking out a can of cat food. It won't translate anything. Well, I'm off then. Ah, Rinsan. Bye-bye. She walked away holding the cat in her arms. Where is she going carrying a cat? Probably to see a vet. The cat hurt uh, its leg. Oh, I see. Rinsan couldn't get near the cat no matter what, and she didn't know what to do. And that's when I happened to pass by. And fast as lightning, you caught it? No, no. She waved her hands in denial. I exploited a trait all cats share. This is how you do it. She took a paper Hello. bag to lay on the bench and placed it underneath it. I'll leave it here. And? A gust of wind blew and the paper bag made a rustling sound. In that instant... And there you have it. I don't really get it. W wait, a cat just went inside the bag. Cats love paper bags and tote bags. And why is that? Because they like cramped places? Um, maybe. They think that it's prey. And also, when it makes a wrestling sound, they can't help but slip inside. And that's how we caught the wounded cat. She nodded empathetically. I see. So that's why you were with Red. I could show my gratitude uh, to her for for the early spring with this. With this, yeah. Yeah. She looked delighted. Well, I got to go too. Okay, see ya, Cood. Yes, bye-bye. See, See you later! Her mantle swayed about as she left. I saw her off. A cat and a dog, huh? That really was how Rin and Coot appeared to me. My stomach growled loudly. I should go grab some dinner soon. The tension's running high now. Let's finish up today with a blast. Once again, Kyosuke came over when the night fell. Despite being... Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to learn the voices for it. But despite being, he's quite a... Despite being a student? Oh. Whoops. Despite being a student, he's quite a night person. Just what you would expect of Kyosuke, isn't it? Can it be? You're not going to make Rin search for members again? Of course he is, Kengo replied in a tired voice as he sat down. But we've already got plenty of girls on the team. Isn't it enough? Hmm. Ah, now that you mention, you're right. But Rin's overflowing with enthusiasm is already standing by in front of the door. But isn't she like the only one overflowing with enthusiasm? Then... Let's change it to a different mission. Rin, can you hear me? Over. <laughs> Don't say over, over! Starting today, the mission's gonna change. Rumor has it there's a mysterious life form roaming the school building at night. Avoiding... Among? Oh. I say avoiding. Among the victims were te teachers on night duty. Uh, what is this? Rid, you must get tired of that dangerous creature. Rid. Oh, rid of the dangerous creature. Oh, Mission start. No way, over. Go, over. I'm scared, over. By the way. According to the teachers who were on night duty, boiled fish, boiled fish cans, mm -hmm. boiled fish cans 
have been disappearing in large quanti quantities from the emergency food store. <laughs> there was no answer, but she, uh, or, but obviously she was listening intently. If we defeat the culprit, we might obtain some. Well, all right, I'll do it. Thought, or thought I'd say something like that, stupid bro. Now I'm even more scared than before. Over. But, <laughs> but it's quite. Oh my god. My goodness. <sighs> But it's canned boiled fish we're talking about. The favorite food of cats. They sure would be happy. All right, I'll do it. Rin, you really will? All right, should we watch calmly or stop her? It doesn't matter what we do. Uh, how about you pick this time? Huh? You pick this time, I pick last time. But I've already played through a lot of this game. Oh. That's why I do let you guys pick. Oh. Well. I don't know. I guess watch calmly. Okay. I wordlessly listened to the siblings talk. But honestly, I'm scared. You can take your cats with you, right? Hmm. Huh. Meow, meow. Oh, will you guys also do your best? The cats meowed back. Oh, okay, there, there. You guys are so cute. No, you guys are super duper, no, duper duper cute. I'll work hard for you guys too. I'll do my duper duper best. Finished? Yeah. Bring it on. Just what I wanted. She was acting bold. Did she think we hadn't heard her conversation just before? All right, head for the courtyard and enter the building from the window at the back. It's unlocked. Over. Oh, everything is going as Kiyosuke had planned. There's nobody in the building now. What's your intention? Fighting a mysterious life form. Huh? That's a false rumor you just made up, right? No, this is the real deal. They didn't inform the students to avoid a panic. So, that's the reason we're prohibited from going out at night, huh? No, wait a minute. Isn't it really dangerous, then? Even though there were victims, the only damage they suffered was eczema, eczema where they were touched. It's not like people are getting eaten. Huh? Is it some kind of stray cat wrapped in poison ivy or something? Well, it must be something like that. Masato and Kengo seemed to be satisfied with his explanation. But I couldn't shake off my feeling of anxiety. Kyosuke definitely knows what the creature really is. I'm sure he does. And he wouldn't send Rin somewhere dangerous by herself. With this in mind, I could finally let myself relax like Masato and Kengo. For a while, we could just hear Rin walking around. Hmm? What's wrong? The cats are scared! I could hear the cats crying on the other end of the line. The enemy is nearby. Watch her step. We could hear her running lightly with short steps. It's dangerous for you. Go hide over there. Can you see the enemy? Nope. The time was dragging by slowly, or slowly by, making me impatient. Oh! A strange noise was heard over her voice. What's happening? I'm being attacked! It's flying! I managed to dodge somehow, but it's frighteningly fast. Can you follow it? No, I can't see it anymore. What do we do now? Kyosuke kept silent for a while. Move somewhere where it can't attack you from behind and wait. Roger! Wait a bit. And if it doesn't attack you, chase after it. You need to wait for an opportunity, okay? I'll try. A dull sound of impact came over from the cell phone. It started. And here's the mysterious life form. Uh, mysterious life form. <laughs> and Rin is going to fight it. Fight her! She's gonna lose. Yeah. 
because look at its stats yeah. compared to hers. Yeah. She is definitely going to lose this fight. Yeah. Oh, no. That's all bad for her. Oh, Jesus. It's doing like 90 to 100 some odd damage and she's only doing 70 and 80s. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. She's yeah. done so. <laughs> she has fallen. Rin, are you okay? I'll be fine. Over. <laughs> Mission failed. Kengo abruptly got to his feet. Huh? What's wrong, Kengo Chi? I can't let this go on. Students are getting hurt. We could hear the determination in his words. He's going to destroy that monster. Mr. Goody Goody. In his place, Rin returned. Ugh. Good work. Look, Kengo's battle is starting. How can you tell? I thought this no <laughs> this might happen, so I set up another mic with its own power supply. Let's switch over to it. We listened intently to the sounds coming over the modified cell phone. He thinks of everything beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like he's a game master. <laughs> And he already knows what's gonna happen before it does. Ooh, he might. Come on, Kengo! No! That thing gets more hits than any. Oh, jeez! Ooh. Yes, yes, Kengo, come on! Yeah! Kengo is victorious. Yeah! <laughs> As expected of Kango. Yup, he's so reliable. Damn it, Kango gets to look all cool. I'm totally jealous. He's acting like a pathetic loser himself. Let's leave him alone. He'll, prob or he'll have forgotten about it by tomorrow. And thus we wrapped up the incident, and so the night went on. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> now it's May 19th, a Saturday. It's a Saturday! <laughs> Saturday! So, today's Saturday. Yeah. Everyone besides me is glare- er, uh, Everybody besides me glared at Kyosuke as if he said something <laughs> overly obvious. <laughs> Classes will be over at noon. We can <laughs> all go out to find members this afternoon. Everyone did their best to ignore him. Damn. <laughs> Riki, I love you. <laughs> His sudden words broke my composure and I turned to look at him. As expected of you. Oh wait, that's you. No, oh, that's no. you. As expected of you. You're amazing, Ricky. Now, if you don't understand that reference as to why it broke his composure so bad, yeah. because in Japanese culture, saying I love you is an extremely serious thing. Ah. You only ever say I love you to your parents mm -hmm. or the person that you're with. Ah. Or your siblings. Or now family. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's oh, why. <laughs> Is there something we need to know about? <laughs> what are you trying to hide? <laughs> oh, boy. Take note, everyone. I realized that I'd fallen into his trap. Masato, I love you! Eh? Seriously? <laughs> As expected of you, Masato. You're amazing. Being so eager about looking mm. for members, I absolutely love you. <laughs> Kengo, I love you. And I hate you. <laughs> Death by a guy. You creep me out. <laughs> Sorry, Rin. Actually, I love you even more. Back off, creep! <laughs> Huh. As expected of you, Rin. I'm saying that's creepy. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Looks like Masato and I will be the only ones looking for members. <laughs> <laughs> morning. Good morning, Noah. I said. Hey, you said it right this Yay! time. <laughs> Do you want to still be Saigasa? Oh, how was her voice again, Saigasa? She's very hyper. 
Yeah, I'm on West Paper. Ricky Coon, you're slow. It's this late already? What about you, Saigasasan? Is it okay not returning to your own classroom? According to the clock, it was just about time for classes to start. Ah, you're horrible, Ricky. Ostracizing. Ostracizing me. Ostracized or not, you're still in a different class and should get back. Eh, hey, it's fine. There's no particular rule that says you have to attend to your own homeroom. It's common sense, so no one bothered writing one down. I think it's bad to be late. Whoa, I've never been lectured. I've lectur even. Oh, whoa, I've even been lectured by little Koo. Has, <laughs> has the world turned against me? Look at her fucking smug <laughs> face. That's what I was. <laughs> For some reason, oh. she looked pleased with herself. <laughs> she sure fucking did. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if it's come to this, I can only turn to you. You, Ine. You, Ine. Nay. Nay. <laughs> well, I don't really see what she's got to do with this. As soon as she'd said it, she raised her hand, turning to Kuragaya's on seat. Anego. Anego. Uh, Ricky Coons. Ah, she's not here. The seat was empty. Only a book was left on the desk. What do I do with my raised left hand now? I think you can just put it down. Hmm, what's she up to? She'll be late. Ah, so you do understand the concept. Can't be helped. <laughs> I'll have... I'll have to take uh, her place. She sat in Kudagaya's on seat. Everything's perfect now, right? <laughs> that face. I know. <laughs> I fucking love her face. <laughs> when I do her route, it's just gonna be you and me just because you fucking love her. <laughs> <laughs> just that face alone. I know. <laughs> Young man, you could start <laughs> shouting something like Ayo Ayo or Ouya Ouya to entertain me. She began impersonating her. No, I won't. What? I've got no choice. I'll shut Ayo or shout Ayo or Ouya and entertain myself then. <laughs> Ayo Ouya you. Filling, <laughs> filling in for her. I end up enjoying it to the fullest myself. Uh, you, oh wait, no, this is you because it's Kudagaya. Oh. You look like you're having fun. <laughs> yep, I am because my press go all boing boing. <laughs> Yeah, just so you guys know, because you can't see it, Diamond just fucking face palms because of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no matter how you look at them, they aren't that impressive. What? Without a second, Kunagaya-san made her appearance. Ah, my Anego. 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 Why do I keep saying that? What kind of ruckus are you making in my seat? I am merely keeping it warm for you. Yep, you're a pain. Eh, but Ricky, Coon, Ricky Coon was bullying me to get out of here. Hold on! I just meant you'd be late otherwise. Were you really doing that now, Aizan? Cood, don't misunderstand too. Isn't it fine for a <clears throat> masochist like masochist. Ricky Masochist. Masochist. Like Ricky Coon. Uh, that's a delight. Delightful. Delightful event first thing in the morning. I'm no masochist. Not in the tiniest bit. Oh, that's awesome, Ricky. Are you... 
doubly. Uh, doubly blessed by bicer- biceps. Bi- <laughs> Why did I say biceps? <laughs> biceps. Brachi. Brachi. Muscle first thing in the morning. No way. I don't ever want to be in such a creepy situation. It was the usual rowdy morning. The first bell chimed. Ricky Coon doesn't care about me, so I'm going back. She hung her head dejectedly. As she was about to leave the classroom, she looked at me. She was waving her hand. I had no other choice but to wave back. She winked at me and disappeared from sight. Man, what a hopeless person. But that is all the time that we have for this episode, guys. So if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe. By subscribing, you're becoming part of a legacy. And I will see you in the next video. Yee! You gotta say bye to the people? Bye! <laughs> say bye, people! <laughs> bye, lovely people! <laughs> Yee! <laughs> Anyways, okay, bye!